Have you ever thought about how quiet can change your fate more than words? This video is a deep look at how silence can help you regain your power and sense of self-worth. We're not just talking about strategies. We're changing lives by teaching you how to value your inner voice over the noise of other people's approval. In this video, we'll show you how silence can break down the illusions of dependence and reveal your true strength. You'll learn to stop looking for approval and start living a life where your own approval is all you need. This is not about dominating other people. It's about finding serenity and solitude and mastering the thoughts and actions that create your world. Come with us as we reveal the quiet ways to keep the peace and earn respect without saying a word. Don't just watch. Put these lessons into practice and watch your life change. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the warning bell. Bell to continue this journey to ultimate personal mastery with us. Let's start with the silence. Number one, understand how women challenge you in relationships. It's a well-known fact that women often test your inner strength with their deep understanding and intuitive grasp. This isn't just a claim. It's a deep-seated part of how people interact with each other. Women will test you, and they'll do it in a deep way because they want to know if you're just another face in the crowd, or if you represent the man who stands firm in his identity and desires without giving in to emotional pressure and games. If you lose your cool or react emotionally and make her feel better than she should, you lose some of your appeal in her eyes. This is because women are drawn to men who are consistent, strong, and true to themselves. The real test comes when you give in to lust or desire and lose your inner strength. Women will test you on this front to see if you're strong enough to resist temptation and if you crumble at the slightest challenge. The stoic answer to these tests is neither anger nor frustration. When you know you're being tested, you should feel calm and at peace. This is your chance to show what kind of person you really are. A stoic man doesn't change his mind about every emotional problem. Instead, he stays steady, rooted in his values and self-awareness. But keeping your cool doesn't mean being emotionally cold. It means having a strong but caring personality. Be the kind of man who, even when provoked, keeps his cool and doesn't play small games. Respect and desire are eventually sparked by this balanced strength, which shows that you are not led by fleeting whims, but by a deep internal compass. Think of these tests not as problems, but as hidden chances given to you by life or the universe depending on your beliefs, to strengthen your character and grow as a person. These challenges are meant to shape your virtues and teach you valuable lessons in life, so when you realize you're being tested, don't see it as a bother, but as a chance to make your resolve stronger instead of giving in to impulse. Let these moments show what kind of person you are, steady, dependable, and unflappable, and let emotional tests not throw you off. If you follow this way of life, you will not only earn her respect, but you will also grow as a person becoming a man of worth who doesn't need to prove himself. The next time you are being watched, take a deep breath, stay calm, and remember who you are. Be consistent, be resolute, and most importantly, stay true to your stoic self. This is how you pass life's tests with honor and respect, and that's how you become a man that people will respect and admire. Before we move on to the next point, take a moment to think about what we just talked about. If you're determined to stick to your values and treat everyone with respect in every relationship, show your commitment by leaving a comment below. Hold on to my honor. It's a simple reminder that your strength comes from inside and that no outside pressure can change that. While you're here, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more tips on how to become your best self. Now let's move on to number two. Lower your standards to get a better idea. Let's look at it from the point of view of Stoicism. Some people think it's a good idea to look beyond a woman's beauty, but if all you can see is her beautiful smile or the way her dress flows, it's time to move on. Drawn to. In the end, beauty is like an Instagram filter. It looks good, but it's just a trick. As a person with Stoic knowledge, your challenge is to see past these fleeting charms. It's a big mistake to love someone too much for their looks. That's giving in to your basic instincts, like a child falling for their first crush. 
Stoicism encourages us to rise above these basic urges and develop a more sensible view. If you only make choices based on how things look, you'll keep making the same mistakes, living your life like you're blindfolded and lost in a maze of problems. Think about how often you've ignored clear warning signs because of physical attraction, probably more often than you'd like to admit. Adopting stoic detachment is more than just resisting these charms. It's also about getting the mental clarity you need to really evaluate the character of the people you let into your life. It's not just about whether she meets your criteria. It's about whether she shares your core values, respects you, and deserves your time and effort. If you've been justifying relationships based only on physical attraction, it's time to change your focus. Once you take off the blindfold of desire, the truth may hit you hard. A partner who looks good might not have much to give you. Real relationships aren't based on how pretty someone is. They're based on how deep their character is, how warm their heart is, and how well their values match your own. So stop being so easygoing and raise your standards. Stop wasting your time and energy on women who don't pass this thorough test. Instead, look for and value women who reflect your values and dreams. By doing this, you can break free from the cycle of relationships that don't make you happy. Remember that a person's true value is not in how they look, but in the good things that are in their heart and mind. If you adopt this reserved attitude, your relationships will change in big ways, boosting your energy and making your decisions better. Third, get back on your feet after a rough patch. In the world of stoicism, problems aren't just problems. They're golden chances to get stronger and practice being good. Life's curveballs teach us lessons through tough challenges that shape who we are and test our determination. This age-old wisdom tells us to face the unknown with calmness and clarity, seeing every tough situation as a chance to grow. For example, losing your job without warning, being betrayed, or having a major health problem aren't just bad luck. They're calls to build your inner strength. Stoicism teaches us to see every problem as a chance to show how patient and tough we are. If you stay calm and act thoughtfully, you not only handle the situation well, but you also start to lower the effect of outside pressures on your self-esteem, such as those that come from arguments with other people. For example, let's say that someone close to you tries to downplay your efforts or downplay your success. Normally, you might get upset or angry, which could make things worse. But if you have a stoic mindset, you choose to stay quiet and not react. This isn't because you're weak. It's a move to save your energy and avoid reacting. Over time, this can change the whole situation, making the other person think twice about what they did when they see how calm and uninterested you are. Stoicism is more than just getting through hard times. It's about turning them into opportunities. To do this, you need to take care of your body and mind by doing things like deep breathing, meditation, and regular exercise to stay balanced and ready for whatever comes your way. These habits build a strong base of peace and focus that helps you stay unaffected by the chaos that used to throw you off. So see each challenge not just as a temporary struggle but as a way to become more self-masterful. The tough times you go through will make you stronger for future problems and help you become a person with strong character and unwavering peace. The things that used to stress you out in life will now be your practice ground for stoicism, and every problem will be a showcase of your growth and stability. Now before we go on to the next point, I want to know what you think. Leave a note below with the phrase, turn setbacks into opportunities. Let this serve as a lesson that every problem you face is a chance to learn and get better. Your opinion counts, and it's always interesting to see how different people deal with life's problems. So. Let's move on to the fourth and final strong lesson. Don't talk as much and show more value. Maybe you think that being available all the time and sending her message after message asking about her day, her plans, or how she's feeling will show her how much you care. But my friend, this is more like digging your own grave. The more you talk, the less she'll value your presence, and you'll become someone who seems to have nothing better to do than chase her around like a lost puppy desperate for attention. Understand this very important point. Don't fool yourself into thinking that your strong desire to always be there for her and make her happy makes you look needy and weak. Because you're always available, she'll think you care about her. 
but what she's really seeing is a man who is so focused on her that he forgets about his own life, which is a big turnoff for most women. This means that a woman is most interested in a man who has clear goals and wants, but isn't desperate to achieve them. A man who can respect her without letting that admiration control everything he does. If you're obsessed with making her happy, you become a slave to your wants, and that's about the least attractive thing you can be. Picture yourself as a trophy. You should ask yourself if a prize chases people who beg to be one. If a trophy means something important that other people have worked hard to earn, then why would you act any other way? By controlling your desires, you start to show the strong qualities of self-control and independence that many women find very attractive. You change into that interesting guy who makes her wonder what's different about him and why he's not begging for my attention like everyone else. The deep truth is that when you step back a bit, stop texting her all the time, and stop trying to please her at every turn, you start to stand out. You become the man she really wants to know, not just another name on the list of suitors trying to get her attention. This is when you start to shine, and she starts to see how valuable you really are. Number 5. The Power of Silence If you talk too much, it can seem like you're desperate to be noticed or like you need someone to tell you that you're interesting. Stoicism teaches us that this is not attractive at all. It shows that you're not comfortable being alone. Now here's something to think about. Silence is a powerful tool when you know how to use it right. You'll find that saying less can sometimes say more. A lot of guys think they have to keep the conversation going non-stop because they're afraid she'll lose interest if they don't say something right away. But that's not how it works. Stoic philosophy says that mystery makes you more attractive. If you don't answer right away, she'll start to wonder what you're up to or why you haven't messaged back. If you're not desperate for her attention, she might want to reach out to you more. Mastering silence is more than just being quiet. It's about showing confidence without having to say anything. Being able to handle quiet shows that you're patient in charge and not always trying to please everyone. It also lets her know that you know what you want, are happy with who you are, and don't need anyone else's approval to feel. She has time to think and may even start to miss you when you choose to be completely silent. Her interest grows and you're no longer just another guy who's always there for small talk. Instead, you're the intriguing guy who doesn't show all his cards at once which keeps her wanting to know more about you. So the next time you want to jump in and fill every quiet moment, stop and ask yourself if that's really necessary. Maybe silence is actually more powerful when you handle it the right way. It speaks volumes. It shows you don't need to fight for attention. You let things happen naturally. Silence isn't just a tactic. It's a statement that you value yourself and your independence, and believe me, that kind of quiet confidence is exactly what makes you stand and out, drawing her in closer to you in short. By getting good at the art of silence, you use it wisely and see how it changes the way women see you. Be the guy who doesn't need to say much to be noticed because sometimes the things you don't say are what matter the most. Before we dive into the next point, here's a challenge for you. Leave a comment below with the words, silence speaks louder than words. Use the power of silence to change the way you talk to people. Trust me, it will change the game. While you're here, stay for the next part of the video where we'll talk about even more ways to make yourself stand out and let your deeds speak louder than words. Number 6. Take charge of your emotions. In Stoic philosophy, we learn an important lesson. If we don't control our emotions, others will. Imagine this. When you get mad about something like a woman not replying to your texts, other people will try to control you. When a friend lets you down or someone is rude in traffic, you give up a lot of your power. Stoics think that this kind of behavior shows that you give up your personal power and let other people control your emotions. Think about it. Who would respect someone who loses their cool over being ignored? If you lose your cool over a woman pulling away slightly, it suggests that you're not in charge of your own feelings. This kind of weakness makes you as easy to manipulate as a leaf in the wind. But getting stronger emotionally isn't about acting tough. It's about building a strong inner core. Realize that rejection, loss, and irritation are just parts of life, not direct attacks on you. 
Stoicism doesn't promise a pain-free life, but it does teach us how to deal with life's problems with endurance. If you give up at the first sign of trouble, you're setting yourself up to fail in life. To become stoic, you have to see every challenge as an opportunity to grow. When you're emotionally strong, nothing can shake you. You are the perfect stoic, steady, purposeful, and calm no matter what storms come your way. Women and people in general are naturally drawn to someone who exudes such stability and maturity, not someone who reacts to every little thing. The next time you feel yourself getting angry, stop, take a deep breath, and ask yourself, does this really deserve my energy? If it doesn't, just let it go. This isn't about holding back your feelings. It's about managing your emotional energy wisely. Remember that mastering self-control isn't about holding back your feelings. Living by stoic principles means you don't let other people control your feelings, so you don't make room for them to do so. You don't just protect yourself from abuse. You earn respect and admiration, turning possible bad things into chances to gain personal power and respectful influence. This is what real strength looks like. Not flashy or loud, but strong and in charge of your life and how you affect other people. Seventh, turn solitude into your best friend. Let's talk about a strong truth that might change the way you see things. If you're sick of always wanting praise or attention from other people, take a moment to realize this. Solitude is your strongest friend. Ally is not the problem you might think it is. That if you're always looking for someone else to fill a hole in your life, you need to face the fact that you're the only one who can do that. Gap. Let's say you're constantly looking for something in other people when you should be finding it in yourself. This is where a lot of people go wrong. By avoiding being alone, you're actually running away from your real self. Being alone isn't as scary as it seems. It's actually a clear mirror that shows you the raw truths about who you are. Facing these truths can be scary, but it's also incredibly freeing. When you embrace being alone, you face the fears and insecurities you've been hiding from yourself. When you take off your masks, you meet your true self, who you really are. This is when you realize that the only approval you need is from yourself. Here's a secret. When you find completeness alone and stop looking for other people's approval, something amazing happens. You become unbreakable. No more rejection, absence, or loss can hurt you because you've found everything you need inside yourself. And you know what? Women start to see you differently, not because you've changed to suit their tastes, but because they see something unique. A man who doesn't need them to be happy. That's real strength. By accepting solitude and being at ease with being alone, you break free from the chains of dependence and the social pressures that say you need someone else to be whole. You realize that being alone doesn't make your life less interesting. It makes it more interesting. So stop chasing fantasies and stop trying to fill your emptiness with someone who will never fulfill you. Instead, focus on your personal growth because in the end, the most important victory is over yourself. When you truly appreciate solitude, you become the man you were always meant to be. Unbreakable, independent, and completely free. That's the key to a truly rewarding life today. Let go of your fears, insecurities, and the constant need for approval. Owning your self-worth, seeing solitude as a strategic partner, strengthening your emotional resilience and valuing your own time and energy. Remember that you don't need anyone else to complete you. Everything you need is already inside you. When you adopt this mindset, you become a force to be reckoned with. You become the man who stands strong, doesn't beg, and stays firm no matter what comes his way. You are meant to be a man who is admired, respected, and most importantly, free. Now that you know this, take charge of your life. Stop settling and start expecting the best from yourself. Don't just blend in. Be the man who blazes his own trail. If you're ready to start this journey of self-discovery and empowerment, don't wait any longer. The life you want is just one decisive step away. Take this road and see how it changes not only your life but also how other people see you. You'll break down stereotypes and earn respect with your deep independence and calm peace. The Amazing Strength of Being Alone I want to hear from you if this message speaks to you. Please leave a comment saying, Solitude is my greatest ally. By affirming your growth in this way, 
you're also encouraging others to do the same. Let's build a community that values independence, inner strength, and true self-awareness. With that said, let's move on to the next important step in this journey. Number 8. Prioritize your time and energy. In the world of Stoicism, it's important to hold yourself in high regard and be in charge of your time and resources. Think about it. Your time and energy are your greatest treasures. Now stop and think about how you're spending them. Are you throwing away these priceless resources on people who only make you smile? Stop making this mistake right away. You're not here to serve everyone, especially those who take advantage of your kindness without giving anything back. As the saying goes, once time is gone, it's gone forever. If you find yourself giving this irreplaceable resource to people who don't make your life better, but just feed their egos at your expense, you're misusing what's most important to you. This suggests that you may not value yourself enough and are willing to take any attention you can find, which is unhealthy. A surefire way to be unhappy and feel bad about yourself. Being picky is important, not because stoicism says so, but because people think we're cocky. But it's smart to look out for ourselves. Don't let superficial traits like good looks draw you in. Think deeper about whether the people you spend time with are actually making a positive difference in your life. Are they helping you grow, reach your goals, and become a better person? If the answer is no, it's time to rethink why you're giving away your time so freely. When you start to truly value your time and manage it wisely, something amazing happens. You become more attractive and appealing. You show others that you're not just anyone. You'll be hard to influence or take advantage of because you dedicate your time to meaningful efforts and worthy people. It makes you more interesting and desirable to be selective. People are drawn to people who are sure of their own worth and direction. This isn't about keeping people out. It's about honoring your own self-worth, which is very appealing. So the next time you're thinking about investing your time and energy in someone, stop and think like a stoic. Is this person really worth your resources? Are they truly enriching your life? If not, have the strength to cut them off right away. Stop selling yourself short. Treat your time and energy with the care of a stoic would treat life, refusing to waste it on people who don't deserve it. Remember that you're not just anyone. You're a man of insight and integrity who knows what he wants and refuses to water down his life with pointless interactions. Realizing the worth of your time will make you stand out from the crowd. Don't settle for less than the best. By expecting the best from yourself, you will attract the best. Truly respect yourself, because if you don't, no one else will. Number 9. Stand on your own two feet. In our study of Stoic teachings about virtue and mastering oneself, becoming self-sufficient stands out as a key lesson. Plus, it's more than just a skill. It's your promise to take charge of your own life and stop needing other people's praise. Stoicism teaches us that depending on other people for our happiness or success can leave us open to harm and lessen our resolve. Picture yourself at a party where you don't look for nods or advice from other people, but instead move through the crowd with a quiet confidence that your quiet isn't a sign of emptiness, but a sign of strength. Being able to stand on your own means that you choose to have important conversations instead of feeling like you have to. This shows that you are strong and affects how others see and value your independence, changing what they expect and maybe even questioning what they believe. When you choose to be self-reliant, you take responsibility for every action and choice you make in your life. You understand that you are in charge. When you adopt this attitude, you're less likely to be swayed by other people's changing views and more likely to stay true to your core values. Don't take this to mean you don't want any help or community ties. It means knowing when help is actually useful and when it's just a crutch that makes it harder for you to be in charge of your own life. Being financially independent is also very important. If you are financially independent, you can make your own decisions without anyone using money to control you. Emotional independence means finding your own balance instead of looking for it in other people's approval. This inner strength helps you handle the ups and downs of life calmly by answering carefully instead of quickly. Having this way of thinking also makes you better at solving problems. 
Every problem you solve on your own makes you stronger and more confident in your skills. This makes you better prepared to deal with future problems with less stress and more courage. Stoic independence isn't just getting by without help. It's also about excelling on your own terms. It's about making a life where you're the creator, and not just someone shaped by outside forces. By cultivating this independence, you not only protect yourself from life's uncertainties, but you also give yourself the power to live a life full of purpose, respect, and inner strength. We talked about how stoicism isn't just about learning, but also about using what you've learned to make a real difference in your life. We talked about everything from the power of silence to appreciating your own time and effort. Each stoic principle we touched on is a step toward better self-awareness and mastering your emotions. By putting these stoic lessons into practice, you're setting yourself up for stronger, more satisfied relationships and a stronger you. Remember that true power doesn't come from just talking. It's found in the times you choose to stay silent and the respect you earn by managing yourself well. Thank you for reading this in-depth look at Stoic advice. If you found something useful, it may have made you think more about your own life path. Today, show your love by clicking the like button. This movie has some great tips that you could share with someone else. Feel free to leave a comment below with your own thoughts or stories. Getting to know you helps us share Stoic knowledge, so please keep writing. Don't miss the other videos on your screen right now for more ways to improve your life using Stoic ideas. Your journey to personal growth and deeper insights is just beginning, and we're here to help you every step of the way. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks on how to face life's challenges with poise and power. See you in the next one, and remember to cherish the quiet moments. Know how valuable you are and keep getting tougher.